I don't know if you guys remember, um, there was a, a dude who we've seen shown him a couple times where a big Trump supporter, this guy who calls himself Behizzy. Behizzy is a uh, young, like, used to be a YouTuber. I guess he technically is still, but he's a, uh, um, now he's on, he posts on Rumble. And the title of this one is They Stole Arizona Again. Um, yeah, and no, he's not picking his nose. I don't think. I think he's just kind of like, wait a second. But we shall see. Maybe, I, who knows? Maybe he goes digging during this. What episode. sounds better to you? Because th Oh, he's on a podcast with Nick M Mositer. Oh, he's on Locals. Very fancy. Lo Locals is, uh, is uh, Ruben's site, right? This is, this is the point at the end of the day. Okay, yeah. At the end of the day, which is night time. These extreme MAGA candidates who are far right lost because they were too extreme. Mm, yeah, yeah, pretty much on the nose. Or Karen Taylor Robson lost to Carrie Lake, this moderate Republican. Of course, they're going to run with the narrative that Carrie Lake and Mark Fincham lost because they're too extreme for the average person. That's how they're going to do it. Okay, so that's your theory. You think that they let uh, you know certain people win in Arizona because it's going to be yeah. That's how they get you, man. How what part of fifth degree level mag maga chess d Democrat insider Illuminati George Soros? Do you not understand? Easy to set the narrative in the midterms that they were too extreme and you know they they lost in the general election because of their extremism. Yes. Because I, I, I mean. I can, okay, I can see. Yeah, I can, I can see where you would say that. I just can't see where it's, it makes any sense. That after they said the same thing about Trump. Trump lost because of his rhetoric. So many people hate. Not just because of his rhetoric, his rhetoric rather. It, it, he lost also because he was shit during COVID and uh, ignored it for months because he was trying to get his Chinese trade deal done. And then still went through with the shipments in midsummer and was bragging about how much he just sold to China, while the rest of his vo his own voters, by the way, were saying China attacked us with a bioweapon. Which, again, if I may state this to any of the maggots that are watching, and I am shocked that none of you put this together, but if indeed you are uh, correct, and I have to protect myself with any kind of against this that I, because I am speaking on behalf of others, that. If China attacked us with a bioweapon in 2020 and with COVID, that means that Donald Trump was president during the worst biological weapon attack in American history. And his response was to ignore it for months and then sell the perpetrators the largest order of pork, corn, corn soybeans, and beef in our nation's history. I don't know why people give Chamberlain shit after World War II hated Trump that they voted for Biden. They voted against Trump, not for Biden, against Trump. That's the narrative. They can live. That was an edit. Was there something wrong with the rest of that? Literally say, we're not counting votes. What are you going to do? No, they can't. We counted half. We'll see you. We'll see you in a week. What are you going to do? I don't. Well, I don't live in Arizona. Maricopa County took like a week or even more to count 2%, right? Yeah, they said that, here's what they said. You know, they still had to count all of the mail-in ballots that were dropped off on election day and they had to verify the signatures. And this is what gives them that extra time after the- Right. Now I would like to point out, if I may, that Republicans, did, you know, because they were supporting in 2020, the red mirage, that they were helping Trump with the red mirage. They were going, if what we can do is we can take all the mail-in and the drop-off votes and we can wait to count them as long as fucking possible and drag that process out and insist on signature verification, which, I mean, literally there is, like, I, I don't know that we have one case of someone fraudulently signing a single ballot in this election that anybody has seen, even with all the curing that's going on. And they intentionally, the Republican Party intentionally dragged this process out. And now they're saying it's taking so long and that's a sign of fraud. So that it was a win-win for them to make the count take so long to verify everything, to signature verify, do all this extra stuff. 
that is unnecessary. It is already, they signed it when they signed up. The ballots got sent to houses. People are getting, you know, notifications on their phone that their vote was counted. All that shit. Anybody who tries to vote and can't goes to jail for way too fucking long to do one, you know, to fake it even for a, a neighbor or a member of their own household. But these guys want it to take so long that A, it looks like the vote on the day, which is supposed to favor Republicans, that pushes them into the lead and people go, well, now we're in the lead by so much, it'll never happen. And then just call it Rudy Giuliani style like you won and then ride it out. And if you if it turns out you didn't, by that time we've already moved on. It's the Al Gore, it's Bush v. Gore again. And then the rest of it is, of course, to claim that their insistence on making the count take so long is a is a, an example of fraud. So they, they're hitting it on two fronts. The election, because they say, well, they were turned in on time. You know, we had a, a, a... Yes, they were. What do you mean, well? Well, you know, they were, they say they were turned in. They were. They were turned in on election day. A, a massive amount, hundreds of thousands of people that waited until the day of the election to turn in their mail-in ballot. Now we have to verify all the signatures. So it's going to take us an extra week. And what did Pennsylvania do? In 2020. In 2020? Yeah. They cured the ballots. Philadelphia well, Pen County, all those Yeah, Pen Look, I'm, I'll tell you right now. I believe you. Uh, I believe you. <laughs> I don't. I don't even know why you would say those words in that order in this whole conversation. What the fuck are you guys talking about? On Pennsylvania, because Act 77. Brother. <laughs> Brother. <was> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I'm just saying Act 77, which means basically they have um, no excuse mail-in voting. They're going to send That's the same mail thing in Arizona. To... It's actually worse than AZ. It's actually universal. Everyone gets a mail-in ballot unless you take yourself off the list. Yeah, they had to go do... through the trouble. <laughs> okay, but but so... the people that took themselves off the list still, still got mail-in ballots. And they were like, I took myself off. I'm actually Lake. on the... Exactly then fill it out and drop it off. And if you if, if you voted in person, who gives a shit? You can't vote twice. What the fuck is wrong with you? So many people took themselves off, still got mail-in ballots. And then, to, to make matters worse, the whole center of this mule story is in Arizona. Yeah, that's because you guys are still chapped ass about it after 2020. It was a Republican-run district yeah yeah like he's, yeah that's the whole thing this is the clip they posted by the way this is they stole arizona again is the i mean just affirm that just go for it it's you know it's not doing a ton of work Three thousand views 3700 485 rumbles but it's making them some coin 